everyone, welcome to all of you. We are very honored this afternoon to welcome Tadashi Kawamata, an internationally acclaimed artist born on the Isle of Hokkaido in Japan. May I say the year? <laughs> in 1953. And very famous for the way he reflects with the environment. He's famous for building in situ installations, non-permanent, everything about demolition and construction. And this way, it's a permanent interrogation of the way how we as human beings connect with our environment, the natural environment, and also the urban environment and the social environment. And we have the great pleasure also of welcoming Sophie Lowers. Sophie Lowers is head, she's director of exhibitions at Beaux-Arts, the Center of Fine Arts. And uh, she's the perfect person to uh, lead this interview with Tadashi Kawamata. Um, this is on the occasion of a mystery book, because if I understood our friends Eric and Luc Mullier, who um, run the gallery Mulir Mulir in Knocke and represent a solo show here of uh, Tadashi Kawamata. Um, they told us that the book is nearly finished, but if I understand right, you started in not so easy conditions five years ago already. And so uh, the archive doesn't seem so easy to collect, but uh, we have good hope. And I think there are already some very, very, very precious examples here. So I wish you a lot of pleasure, a lot of interest, and I leave the floor to the talk. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Is, it, is this working? Yeah, can everybody hear? So, Anne, thank you very much, and um, well, um, good afternoon, and welcome to all of you for indeed this, in, uh, this incredible presentation of the first oeuvre catalogue by the artist of Tadashi Kawamati. And for those who are not really acquainted, Anne already said a few things. So, uh, Tadashi is born in Hokkaido, but he currently lives and works in Paris. He also obtained a doctorate uh, from the University of um, Tokyo University of the Arts, where he teached for a long time. He participated in numerous exhibitions. It's really impossible to, to, to name them all, but think about the Venice Biennial, the Documenta, was di director of the Yokohama Triennial, um, has been participating in so many group shows and, and, and solo projects. And he also teaches at the Ecole uh, d'Art Supérieure at Paris and was also for a while invited as a teacher. Uh, at the Ecole Supérieure d'Architecture in Versailles, which is very important to mention both. Um, and Tadashi is mostly known for his um, interventions in public spaces on diverse locations and also very icon iconic sites um, sometimes where he's really been transforming our world and our environment by setting out new structures, new um, iconic unusual, very unusual structures going from apartments, building bridge to museums to really global uh, global reconfiguration and he in a way works also somewhere in the middle between yeah, deconstruction and construction but we will go into deeper during the conversation and um, by doing so he's really proposing a completely new perspe perspective and relationship between the eye and the viewer, between our environment and our direct relation to our um, surroundings and how we interact with it. So, this book, Maquettes Models, 1980-2005, I think it's the perfect starting point for this conversation. Um, I think maquettes and models, both for their artistic um, expression, but also for their um, um, synthesizes and analyzes of a project, and, and because they are kind of the living link between art and uh, arch architecture. And so, encompassing a dizzying period, a dizzying number of, of, of projects, and so I wanted to go a little bit deeper in this multiple relationship you have with uh, art and architecture, um, models and maquettes, um, and yeah, in a way, they are like the concretization of an in-between, 
um, process and maybe one can say that your work balances in a way on the edge between art and architecture. Mm -hmm. So my first question would be, do you think like an architect? Do you think like an artist? And how do you <laughs> feel or feel maybe this, this, this space between art and architecture? I don't know so much. I, 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 actually, I didn't prepare anything for this time today. But uh, yeah, uh, my work is uh, it's always like uh, in, in between. The people said uh, architectural stuff or some art stuff. But for me, it's you know, it's not necessary for this kind of category, you know, art and architecture. Maybe the you know, you see the now is uh, many architects. They made the uh, exhibition, some installation, even temporary project. So I think just just artist. That's all. You know, I, I don't really uh, categorizing so much about uh, architecture work or mm -hmm. artworks or anything. And uh, for my basic uh, knowledge is just uh, for art, of course. Even though I'm, I was a painter, you know, painting, not a sculpture, not anything. So I don't know so much about uh, you know the material at all, mm -hmm. and also the skill for the architecture thing. Just I really interesting for to to do the uh, space, you know, for the work, and uh, so that was the starting point, and then. Uh, yeah, to, to make a market and model. This is a, uh, that time is the 1980s. It was a bit uh, unusual uh, for the artist to make it like this because uh, mostly like an installation or some uh, sculpture, or some you know the works, they did it you know. But uh, I was very much uh, uh, nervous for to make a new exhibition, so I always make a planning. And then to the three dimension, you know, models, I starting to make it by the cardboard or anything. This is a really, really starting point, and uh, it's more like a space, and uh, also the, some connection with the building to the building. Uh, but it's, it, this is a little bit uh, becoming like architecture, you know, uh, the style. But uh, I made the uh, market and the models uh, for preparation for the exhibition, also the, to make a, a memory or some document of the, you know, the project. Because I did also the, after the work, after the project, I still continue to the, you know, make, a, make a market too. Mm -hmm. So I have a three different types of the market. Uh, first market will be planning. You know, Preparation for the you know, new project. Uh, second was uh, just uh, the after the project, you know. So it's not like a planning; it's just mm -hmm. the market itself. Mm -hmm. I really interesting too. Mm -hmm. And another one is uh, totally without any uh, specific uh, place, spe mm -hmm. specific project, totally imaginary, you know, the thing. So I have uh, three different type of the you know the market and model I have is. So it's. Uh, Bit more like you know, market itself is for me. It's uh, another artworks, you know. So not only for the you know uh, preparation or some sketches or not like that. It's, this is already the artworks. Mm -hmm. So this is I already since the beginning I already started like this. You know. mm -hmm. But so a maquette, you already mentioned it yourself. So it's this in, in between situation. It's also something at the same time. It's there for being permanent because mm. some of your works. This was another question mm. I wanted to ask because when you start to to, I mean sometimes you intervene in an existing place, mm. a place that people love, a really good place with an, a good connection with its history, mm. and then you come into it, and it's like um, you kind of are shaping this desire of this new interaction. Mm -hmm. It's like like you, you, you move in it very fast also, yeah, like uh, flight and time. Mm -hmm. And so the, a maquette is also in a way as a temporally and mm -hmm. ephemeral um, status. And um, yeah, I, I, I was also wondering this ephemeral and this temporary, mm -hmm. because a maquette by definition is something you make, but mm -hmm. then... Yeah, it also has its own behavior. I, I, I think it can also change in the... Yeah, yeah. I think, that, you know, the middle of time I made a model and market, it's not... Uh, I, I didn't think about to be stay, you know. It's just like, a, you know, uh, like mm -hmm. a, a planning, you know, just models made by the carton. And then after that, 
after the show, I just destroyed, you know. So I didn't think about to the keep it anyway. Even mm -hmm. the market also, just planning. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why the time of the, when we, uh, to make uh, this book, it was very hard to do collecting the, all the photographs and uh, some, you know, document because uh, uh, some market and some models, I didn't take a photo, anything, because I was uh, using for the, you know, preparation, then disappear. But uh, once, uh, I don't know when, but just uh, I start to, to collecting the, this market, you know, some models, keep it, uh, uh, some uh, another presentation, you know. So this is uh, uh, starting for the another function, you know. Mm -hmm. So, because uh, yeah. uh, my project is, uh, you know, nothing, just uh, planning. And then I have to be show some uh, document, you know, the material, mm -hmm. which I was presenting the new, you know, project. Mm -hmm. So that time I using for this, uh, you know, for example, some market I can show, mm -hmm. I made this one, then to the, you know, next one. So this is, uh, yeah, it's kind of like uh, starting more like a necessity, you know, to, yeah. to, to make it, yeah. But maybe it, it's then you also see it as a kind of facilitator for your vision, mm -hmm. um, which is then again something theoretically. But from the other side, I saw I saw videos where you were oh, yeah, working, yeah, yeah. and, and mm -hmm. I think it's also it has also much to do about mm -hmm. the pleasure of making it because you do yeah. it in a very playful way, and I think it's very charming also that you say. Yeah, this book when we started it, and I in the beginning I didn't have good photographs, but mm. I think that's just it's there is a very poetic idea about this ephemeral mm. thing, and also the way that that you are not really I mean that's where the architectural practice becomes mm. art maybe because it's yeah the way you it's uh, also a, a, a something very playful mm -hmm. you can you touch it almost like a child yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and yeah this is I, I was uh, when I was a kid I was uh, very much. Uh, Fascinating about uh, plastic models. You know that this like a fighting, like an airplane or like a, you know, or this fighting the uh, tank or something. I was a very much. I'm not so much sportive, you know, uh, children. I, I'm more like inside of the house and I just make uh, some small you know, models. So this kind of a habit, I still continue like this, you know. So I like very much, uh, very much miniature, you know, work. And uh, also, the most of my project was uh, I always work with many people, like uh, engineer, architect, many assistant. We always working together in daytime, you know. So nighttime, I really want to be free, to be quiet, and I, I try to concentrate for the miniature, you know, work, you know, like uh, to make a market, to make a models. This is really independent, you know, and uh, really needed for me for that time, you know. So I'm always working at the site, but uh, when I back to the hot hotel or some apartment, I start into the, some, you know, market, you know, to make it. So until 2005, uh, you know, this book, I just made uh, uh, 1980 to 2005. This is the first uh, part of the catalogue raisonne for the market and models. Uh, why why t until 2005 mean like, uh, uh, 2080, just uh, for uh, as much as the earliest uh, models I market, I made it, you know. Then 2005, it's just uh, until before I come to, uh, to living in, in Paris. So most of the, you know, the market model, I made it uh, during the, you know, uh, project. And uh, also the, until 2005, I have no atelier. I didn't have any atelier place. I always working in a hotel room. I was always working with somebody's uh, room, so uh, temporarily, like, you know, uh, some, you know, uh, residency, you know, art, art in residence. And I just working for there. So the, the world is your workplace. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> traveling a lot because uh, totally site specific. I always uh, be there in the stay. Sometimes a couple of months I stayed, uh, you know, at the site to collect the material to build up some construction. So it's always like a site specific. So I always working at uh, uh, some apartment or some hotel rooms, you know. So so I was always, uh, you know, the people in the hotel. Mm -hmm. They always the argument to me, you know, every morning they are trash a lot everywhere in the rooms. I had to be cleaned up. Or no. So, yeah, I did a lot. And uh, also the, I did uh, many uh, residency programs, you know, in the United States and uh, in Europe. 
I did many plays, so I always work in there. So, so it's it's uh, yeah, it's uh, logically I don't need so much uh, atelier. That's why you know. You also mentioned just before your relationship to work with other mm. persons like students, architects, mm. but this is also going a little bit further. I think you're very much in a way uh, socially engaged mm. also, mm. only already by working mm -hmm. with others, but also the social um, or the societal impacts of living in a city. Mm. So it's not only the human being, but also the site or the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have a very interesting relation in trying to confront us, you know, with yeah, how urbanization, city life, mm. uh, heritage also, mm. um, because I think, yeah, it's, uh, we wanted, I wanted to point out some things, but it's, I think we will go and have a look in it yeah. later. But it's amazing the way you really transformed, uh, transformed the way we look, we look at these, mm. uh, yeah, these, 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 these buildings. Uh, you know, the, uh, I think uh, this is very much uh, remember for me to the, uh, when I was in the first uh, big international exhibition at the Venice Biennale, uh, I was uh, 27 or 26, 27 years old. It was a very big chance. It was before, you know, I was uh, more like a gallery, you know, installation or some museum installation, I did it. And uh, at the time of the 1982, I had uh, uh, projects in the Venice Biennale. I did uh, the Japanese pavilion, I just covering, you know, some stuff. It was a big installation anyway. And I was very young, but I was totally, totally disappointed about uh, the reaction from the people. Because uh, nobody, nobody uh, discussing, because that time, 1982 was a, a big movement of the painting. A bad painting and a bad sculpture, like a figurative sculpture. Nobody make an installation, you know, in in Venice, you know. So this is only me. I just made it, uh, but uh, I had no good reaction. So I was very much, you know, uh, how to say. Uh, I'm, I'm like a nearly I will be finished the, my work, you know. Then I was uh, six months I was traveling all the Europe and then I back to home and then I said, okay, no more museum, no more gallery, no more art, you know, uh, place. Just uh, uh, I start from my uh, assistant, mm -hmm. the house. I uh, renting because uh, my assistant he came to me in the Venice and he just back to home, but he doesn't need to the apartment in Tokyo. So I said, okay, I can renting one month to his uh, house, and then I just made it, you know, installation. So this is very very beginning of my work. It's mm -hmm. normally totally the normal apartment. You know, I renting mm -hmm. one month, and then I just build up some installation inside, mm -hmm. and then I uh, after one month I just bring back. You know, mm -hmm. so this is really. It was 1982, end of the 1982. I just made it. Uh, you know, the mm -hmm. very small, typical Japanese. Uh, you know, uh, the apartment. So this is. Uh, yeah. Then. I didn't think about the social, you know, engaging anything. Mm -hmm. Just I really like to the, uh, try to be more, uh, as much as uh, independent, you know, mm -hmm. without any gallery or museum, you know, art, you know, uh, the field. Mm -hmm. So I starting to this called the apartment project. I did, uh, you know, 1982, 1983. I was many apartment renting apartment, normal apartment, mm -hmm. you know, starting. Then I get uh, so many reaction from the neighborhood or some people or some assistant or so this is a very much beginning of my uh, way to work you know to starting and then to the I have a chance to go to New York and stay some PS1 mm -hmm. the, for the residency and the studio and then I get uh, some curator came to look at, then they invite me to the, some, uh, the international exhibition. This is a, you know, the very much slowly, but it's getting more to the uh, worldwide, you know, uh -huh. to the active. Yeah, but there is, yeah, because the first time when you start to break out, when you go out of the apartment and you go to invest, to engage mm. the public spaces or architectures, yeah. um, it's in a way, you, I also sometimes had this feeling that you wanted to heal something, like mm. you wanted to, I don't know, to, um, 
you see what's going wrong and you know also this tension be between public space and private space yeah, yeah, yeah. and when you yeah like you use you use the, the the language of a nest it's a little bit also like mm -hmm. animals do mm -hmm. in a very natural authentic way um, and um, yeah it's like you want to in a way protect something and at the mm -hmm. same time you destroy it so there is this very interesting that, balance that, that, that time i just always uh, make a, you know uh, the keyword is like a parasite like a parasite yeah exactly. just i go but i don't break anything just i using for this house or some space to 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 transform to some other you know the structure but after that uh, we are just taking down and everything because uh, this is a contract with between the i renting the house i said uh, i never break anything you know mm -hmm. i never scratching any wall i never hitting any you know nails but just the structure by structure just holding mm -hmm. then to the after one month or two months we just take down mm -hmm. everything to be the uh, the same as before you know mm -hmm. this just was a yeah, even though i was a, when i was a working there i stayed there in, inside you know because i have no place to you know so it's like a, it's like a, you know like a traveling like a circus, you know, just uh -huh. to go there to collecting some material, collecting some assistant, working there. After that, taking down, bring back to the, you know, mm -hmm. the place, and then to the move to there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I think I did already the since 1980 to the until now. I always said that I'm still only one project. I'm still continuing, you know, <laughs> just to go there to make it and then take it down. Or well, sometimes, you know, they keep it uh, longer anyway. Maybe I can tell you the later about the temporary and also permanent thing anyway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because uh, you you kind of you know you you point at, at something, you see it, and then it's gone. You don't see it anymore. Mm -hmm. It's 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 never there yeah, yeah, yeah. forever but but yeah you kind of yeah you you change our gaze you change the way we we um yeah that's that's why the market and model is uh, very important for me uh, becoming because because uh -huh. uh, be, it was beginning of time i don't care about so much yeah. but uh now it's uh, very much important because uh, only existing the photograph, video document, and the market. That's all, you know, for the project. So it's like a document. It's uh, yeah, it's like a book, video, and uh, you know, some market. That was uh, I have to be presenting the you know my project, mm -hmm. my work, because it's always temporary. You know, just yeah, disappear. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What, what what makes you an artist yeah, yeah. in a way. In a way, also, um, yeah, going back to this relationship to society, because you say I'm an independent, I don't mm. want to, but you you kind of emphasize on certain problems we are actually dealing with, mm. uh, thinking about today. The, but uh, you know, the beginning of time, you know, it's not uh, art uh, society or art critic. Mm -hmm. They are not uh, support for me. It's a uh, support for the architect. Yes. Yeah, I think the, I got a couple of the architects in Japan, like uh, Isozaki or some other, you know, uh, even Tadawando, they asked me to come to, to work together. So I think uh, the architects is more uh, interesting in my work than art, you know, the society, art critic anyway. So I was many, uh, yeah, it was very good uh, relationship between the architects and uh, you know that time mm -hmm. but uh, i'm still like uh, you know uh, the i was a uh, feeling like an artist anyway but uh, yeah, but that's clear because you have an, yeah the, your status and your point of departure is in a, in a way different this is still working oops um yeah, and also when, when, when you look at your work from a distance, when you see this book, it's really, it's, it's incredible. I wonder if there is one place where you haven't been. I mean, I was so um, surprised. Uh, troubling, troubling, know, troubling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but also standing today in the world as, a, as an artist, you, you see all these, these problems of migration, for instance, and then when you see these nests you make or the tree huts, it's a kind of reflection also of how we human beings mm -hmm. are, are standing in the world. You, you, it's, yeah, it's something that, that uh, but, speaks to us. Yeah, but uh, for me, personally, I don't really care about uh, how much, you know, uh, to people to can look at my work or to see or to be in that mm -hmm. thing because it's a, it's always very local you know I made it you know some projects and uh, I don't know how many people can look at even the uh, some project was uh, very anonymous you know just uh, 
yeah, like a, like a house or like a, you uh-huh. know, just around, around the corner. I just made it, but uh, I, I think I really like to the you know, uh, not for the many people to 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 look at, just uh, some people to look at and some people to interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm really you know like mm-hmm. it very much. I'm not really necessary to the to be the you know. To be the Kusama or some yeah, yeah. like uh, I don't know uh, the, the Takashi Murakami or mm-hmm. not, not like that you know no, no. it's a different uh, generation yeah, yeah, different totally uh, way to the work totally anyway different. but yeah. in a way yeah there is this this poetic of human relations and I I think it's really yeah it's uh, something that speaks out very much of your work and and makes it also stands in an auto, uh, autonomous mm-hmm. autonomous um, autonomous way. Um, I was also wondering, because you live in Paris now, yeah. and then now we just you know to go to a very actual, when you, you saw the cathedral mm. burning or you heard yeah, about yeah. it, I had to also to think, of course, of your mm. work and how mm. you deal with heritage and, and, and yeah, this healing, mm. this, this healing wounds, or I was wondering how, how what, what kind of effect did it on you? Do you feel like... Um, yeah, it was, uh, you know, the neighbor, ever any building to stay forever you know mm-hmm. it's uh, sometimes they destroy sometimes they are fire accident or I think uh, this is a meaning of the temporary you know for me it's just uh, uh, I don't believe any uh, permanent you know <laughs> anything I mean like you know it's in my dictionary I have no uh, word for the permanent because it's a uh, you know, the permanent is very much a, a fantasy for the people because people are going to be die. You know, everybody have to be die, right? Everybody, for sure, you're going to be die anyway. <laughs> so it's just temporary. You know, your life is temporary. Everything temporary. But just uh, the uh, for imagination, you know, this building has to be stay for a long time or anything, you know. But uh, of course, you know, natural incident, like, like a tsunami, you know, they, they can come, they just throw away everything, like a tabula rasa, you know, all the document, all the memory is uh, out. Mm-hmm. You know, then we have to be build up another one. Then another hundred years, they will be coming back again. So this is, you know, you cannot imagine I think, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm Japanese and I had uh, very much, uh, very much inspiring about this, you know, natural incident like an uh, earthquake or, you know, like a tsunami or anything. Uh, I don't believe any static, very much, you know, stable, you know, mm-hmm. the way of thinking, way of the object also. And, uh, I think just uh, temporary. Even the 100 years, I still stay like a temporary, you know, mm-hmm. 200 or maybe 1,000, still like a temporary. Everything is on the edge. Yeah, I think just have to be, moment. yeah, have to be changed. Yeah. So I think the Notre Dame also the, used to be there, the fire accident already, the, I don't know, maybe 100 years ago or maybe 200 years ago. Mm-hmm. So it was happened. So this time it's happened, maybe they built up soon. But it will be again to the you know mm-hmm. somehow. Mm-hmm. So anything, any keep stay forever. This mm-hmm. is a, I think the human being, their fantasy, you know, for some image. That's all, you know. You don't never know the next day will be dying, you know. <laughs> Next day so will be yeah. yeah. But so for it's the moment, we have your models and your maquettes that we can cherish. Yeah, but and, this is also the I don't know how much you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> to stay there or anything. I wanted also to take the opportunity maybe to introduce Luke. I don't know if he's still here. The gallery. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Luke. Yes, because there is the the stand, uh, I, uh, the booth um, where there are some uh, maquettes presented. Like you talked about the tsunami. This mm. is incredible work uh, that was done in in Metz, and I think Luke was all also walking alongside Tadashi mm. for a very long time um, and being involved in a lot of projects. Um, yeah, how did your relationship kind of start it or how did... Maybe Luke can explain. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, just, just coincident, I think he, he came to my, my project site. That was the first thing and then uh, just like this. I, I don't really remember, it's already 25 or 25 years ago, right? That's a whole, a whole long, yeah, a whole yeah, long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, 
Okay, um, maybe yeah, a last question, something that I don't know. You don't mm -hmm. have to answer it, but how? Do, because you 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 also often say I'm like I'm a scrapper, and and again also your relationship to the and uh, l'environnement, the, mm. um, the use of materials. You usually work with wood. You also worked with plastic, but it's also always rust material. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and other important issue today, the climate change, and and mm -hmm. is this also something that you? consider I think uh, you know the beginning of the time you know when I was young I was uh, I have no money that's why I just uh, always using for the scrap material as like a same as like a art student anyway mm -hmm. and uh, but uh, so since uh, you know the think about the uh, material will be recycling also the kind of like a environmental you know uh, circulation mm -hmm. right and uh, think about uh, energy, you know, to the to the consuming, to 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 getting. I'm not so much an ecologist anyway, but I'm not so much an environmentalist. But uh, I'm concerning about uh, everyday life anyway. Mm -hmm. For for me personally, I really uh, conscious about uh, my life to be not too much producing for something, you know, uh, the new. I never, I don't believe any new uh, material, new uh, objects. I really want to use it for the, uh, it's kind of like a renovation, you know, like uh, using for the uh, another function to to make another different function from the ordinary life, you know, ordinary function anyway. Mm -hmm. So the people using for material and then to throw away. So this uh, material I can reuse again to make something di different uh, way to do that, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. This is uh, really interesting, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not not like, uh, you know, something totally, totally new uh, object to make it or something, you know, not like that. I think I really like to the uh, circulation or this, you know, mm -hmm. the material, you know, just, I really, you know, when I was the beginning, I renting the apartment. It's very interesting for me. Just I pay for the money for the contracts, you know, and I be back after the one month or two months. I be back again, you know. So this is just only for the contracts, mm -hmm. and I didn't change anything. I just mm -hmm. using for this time and the space mm -hmm. and uh, some material. Mm -hmm. Then back again to the original place. Mm -hmm. So this kind of circulation, the time and the material space. This is I was really. I'm mm -hmm. still doing the same thing, you know, mm -hmm. like that. And you talked about innovations. I, I read that for, for Notre Dame that mm. they are reusing someone is reusing the wood and mm -hmm. the stones, but into 3D printing to yeah. print some of these. Mm -hmm. Is this a technique that attracts you or something? The new technology, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but maybe the you know. Time is this like that. I think that's really in important. It's not like uh, only for original, you know, to, to make a copy, you know, mm -hmm. not like that. Something more inventing the way to do. That was uh, also because every historical monument is mm -hmm. always, you know, make uh, independent, you know, mm -hmm. the way to do. So, yeah, we will see. The Notre Dame will be uh, maybe a couple of years or maybe, yeah, they said like uh, five years, you know, to, yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. But after that, we will see the, it's going to be the original. Mm -hmm. You know, the original also, the, this is a question. What is original? <laughs> this yeah. is also, I don't really, you know, uh, believe it at all so much. But you can be, I think nobody is original. You can only be authentic in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just on this important. time, on yeah. this uh, moment, you yeah. can see, you can look at, you can have a value. But um, this is not, uh, this is really original. Well, what is the original, you know, the mean? You know, there's many copy, many information, many Yeah, everything. it's not about proving yourself, it's yeah. about not the object, traces. Yeah. Not the material, it's yeah. more like information. Yes, you know? yeah. Um, I don't know if someone wants to, to jump in or if there are any questions. Um, yeah. he's, he's one of the old yeah. assistants for me, <laughs> so he knows uh, a lot of the projects. <laughs> uh, maybe? Yeah, I, hello. Um, what I liked very much were the first projects because they are very fresh, but there's not so much documentation about it. Uh, and I would 
personally, I would I would be interested to buy some of these old books, old photographs, or whatever. Um, is that possible? I think, that, I think like a, <laughs> you said like a, at, at the, walking at the site, the experience, and the market and the model is a different, right? This is what you're talking about, right? I think this is a, yeah, of course, a difference anyway. And uh, even the, I didn't uh, uh, try to connect it anyway. So when I make a m market and models, that was the model itself, not uh, for the projects, you know. Even the pr preparation for the projects, but uh, still not uh, uh, too much, you know. <coughs> like uh, architects, you know, just uh, very precise the models. I never make any very precise model at all. So this is model and market mm -hmm. is, uh, itself. Mm -hmm. It's not a comparative with the thing, yeah. Because it's, uh, I cannot uh, uh, recreate, uh, I, I cannot uh, uh, make it uh, same as like uh, at the site work, you know. Because it's a totally different experience anyway. You know, it's more physical work, construction, the huge you know structure, than very much miniature thing. You know, this is a totally different. But uh, me, for me, physically, it's the same same person. I can make it under uh, physical work, and then you know, physical work for the miniature. So this is a. Yeah, as much as I said to like this, you know. You also, because um, you also draw, it's not because the, mm. the drawing, it's also like the first mm. phase in the, in the conception, conception, and then you have your maquettes, and mm. you have your your uh, site-specific works. Yeah. And maybe, uh, yeah, I was also wondering, walking, drawing, mm. because but it's sometimes not <laughs> human, the, the interaction of yeah, yeah, yeah. being, it's like a pencil who's walking around. Uh, yeah, but uh, not like a systematic, you know, fast uh, drawing and then to the market and then to model. Mm -hmm. Not like that. I just directly to make a model mm -hmm. or directly to the, you know, uh, the market, you know, itself. Uh, sometime uh, much more later, I can start into the draw, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. It's uh, totally free, you know, mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, even though without uh, market, without models, I just directly, I just made the project also. Mm -hmm. I have some. So, the yeah, even the recently, I just made a workshop with a student. Yeah. I just set up to the table and the benches. Mm -hmm. and the, just so student can come to set up, and then we can discuss what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this is uh, only I can make a table and benches. Mm -hmm. And the space for the discussion, mm -hmm. space for the to you know to 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 be create you know mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, I cannot make a preparation anyway. You know, so I just uh, set very up. Very spontaneous. Yeah, totally yeah. spontaneous. Yeah, but this is uh, it was sometimes it's very interesting. You know, mm -hmm. the project to happen. You also had a question, Mark. Do you have another? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, you grew up, uh, you lived in Tokyo, right? I was in Tokyo, yes, yes. 30 uh, years, yeah. Did it influence the themes of your work? Because your work is kind of about human relationships and mm -hmm. urbanization and stuff. So did it influence it in any yeah, way? Yeah, very much, yeah. I, I born in the, you know, as she said, it's more very much countryside in north side of Japan. And I was 18 years old. I moved to Tokyo because for the, the school, art school, you know, over there. And I was very much fascinating about uh, in Tokyo that time, 1980s. It was booming for the, you know, economic. And uh, you cannot imagine like, uh, you know, one week you can stay. When I was a very cheap apartment, I was you know, always watching from the window. One week, the, the one boutique, one shop was built up. And then after one week, they destroyed. And then to the new one, it's coming. It's so rapidly, so energy, you know, changing. And uh, this was uh, happened to the 1980s in Tokyo. So I was really fascinated about uh, this circulation of the you know economic booming. Because the ground is very expensive, so you can make a temporary shop, 
and then you can sell it one week. After that, just the shop is gone, and then another shop is built up. Even the building, even the building is built up. After a couple of years, they're going to be destroyed. Everything and then to the build up. This wow. this is a phenomenon of the Tokyo at that time. I, I don't know. Maybe the other country, other city will be different. But uh, especially in Tokyo, it was just like that. Even now, it's still like this. And uh, you know, normal uh, apartment or you know building is only 20 years is the maximum value. After 20 years, it's no more value anymore. It was very different, you know. So this kind of like a phenomenon of the economic, also the changing rapidly, build up, destroyed. And uh, you know, this is uh, I was very much interesting. I, I was very much fascinating about uh, this uh, uh, time, you know, changing. So the, my work is just uh, very much connecting like this, you know. So if I'm uh, uh, be more ten years later in Tokyo, it will be different. 1990s is more like a recession time, so not so much anymore. But 1980s was for sure. It was very much excited and very much consuming, very much throw away everything, you know. <laughs> so this is uh, my uh, influence so much, yeah. It's a very interesting question because precisely the book is yeah. from 1980 to 2005. Exactly like that, yeah. And just to yes, yes. he was um, yeah. uh, living in Japan. You have a question, sir? Yes, uh, thank you, and it's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, Mr. Kawamata, I just want to continue that question uh, because I was also interested to see, mm. of course, you are Japanese, the Japanese influence. But as you refer to Tokyo, I have been a couple of times in, in Tokyo, which is a very energetic yeah. uh, city. And your work, in fact, reflects a quietness. Mm. Mm. It is not at all mm. something that reflects the high energy mm. of Tokyo. Mm. On the contrary, it's something that I feel as very interior. Mm, mm. And uh, because we have a work of you and we see it every morning and every evening because it's in our bedroom. So <laughs> we start the day and we finish the day with you, if I may say so. But, uh, but if I say that your work, because we have discussed a lot of maquettes and models, mm. for me it's more abstract art mm. as such. I don't look at maquettes, I look at what you want to, mm. to show us. And uh, is that the wrong approach mm. or do you share that? I think, you know, the, it's very interesting for the, maybe one of the examples I can tell you the, in Tokyo, for example, like a rush hour in, in the metro, you know, it's like 200% of the people were pushing, you know, every morning. But the inside of the metro, you cannot imagine, very, very quiet. Mm -hmm. Nobody talking. It's very quiet. But the 200 people, you know, even the one hour I was uh, floating on the, you know, everybody just in the middle. It, but it's very, very quiet. Nobody telephone. Nobody, you know. So this is, I think, uh, the other hand is very energetic, energetic also the very uh, consumeristic and very much uh, uh, the dynamic, the city. But the other hand is very quiet and very much, you know, uh, how to say. I think this kind of like, uh, you know, situation is uh, really interesting. But uh, I was uh, 30 years, I was a bit uh, too fed up to the Tokyo. So that's why I moved to Paris. But uh, uh, it is quite interesting, the 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 situation, also the some kind of attitude of the Japanese people. But the uh, other side is uh, I'm not so much, you know, <laughs> agree to the, you know, many, you know, the thing. Uh, but uh, it was 1980s, so I was very much, I was really fascinating because I come from countryside. So I was very much, you know, inspiring for this one. But now I don't know what's going to happen. I think uh, after the tsunami, it was uh, it was a very big uh, uh, changement for Japanese society. Uh, talking about the environment also, mm -hmm. talking about the landscape of Japan, mm -hmm. talking about uh, people's attitude, you know, a consciousness about uh, energy, consciousness about uh, you know incident, you know. Nobody believed the government 
for sure. <laughs> Nobody believed that any information, you know, telling to the government, no. So it's a very much, uh, you know, uh, changement. I, I feel like a very much changement in the moment, you know, uh, for, for Japan. It's like the silence before the storm, or this controlled, controlled chaos in a way. Which yeah, chaos, but control. Also, the very much uh, uh, violence, but it's uh, very quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a uh, little bit, uh, yeah, bit. Uh, Japan, Japanese people is very much ambiguous anyway. <laughs> but uh, I really want to <coughs> asking to the the Sven. He's one. Of, he's a graphist for this one. I, I'm sure uh, this is one of the, my best uh, book. He made it. Could you just uh, tell something? Yeah, maybe just to uh, say. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, I'm very emotional now. <laughs> um, actually, the book is not uh, ready. Uh, it's still with the printer in Poland of Polska. No, I'm very nervous, thank you. <laughs> you overwhelmed me, uh, okay. Um, well, actually, it's gonna be a hardcover, uh, more tactile paper mm -hmm. and things like that. And it was a, an honor to, to work with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so we can say the book for the moment is a maquette. <laughs> yes, uh, a, a some prototype, yes. <laughs> so to wrap up, if there are no more questions, to wrap up, uh, so maybe you can say something about your future projects, Taipei Biennial, no, uh, Helsinki Biennial. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which are still, still many, many projects going on and uh, yeah, many uh, temporary projects. But uh, I. Recently, I think I did uh, more permanent uh, work, but it permanent means like uh, maybe 20 years or 30 years. So I don't know how, how long you know, they can keep it anyway. But uh, wood, most of it I'm using for the wood. So wood in the public space and the wood with uh, uh, the outside to stay longer, you know. Normally the material is not so much like that, but uh, I think that recently it's, uh, they are very much accept for this kind of the material too, you know. Because normally like a stone or metal or a brick or you know, more, 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 more strong material. Mm -hmm. But wood is not, uh, you never see so much wooden uh, structure or wooden stuff. Maybe they paint a lot or you know, but they still keep uh, not so much long, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, now it's uh, the, some Connect with the environmental thing, mm -hmm. connect with the ecology, connect with the kind of like, uh, you know, uh, uh, natural, you know, uh, the, the uh, people prefer more natural way to do, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I get some commission work from the architect, together with the architect, or some uh, project. It's like a 1% of the public uh, project. I mean, like, uh, if the uh, architect built up the uh, public uh, building, they have to be paid for the, uh, spend for the 10%, uh, 1% of the budget uh -huh. to using for the artworks. So I just get a uh, couple of the projects like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I uh, propose to the wooden structure or some, you know, like a nest or some tree hut. But uh, they, sometimes they're existing, you know, they're accepting. So this is uh, quite uh, different in the moment. So yeah, I get uh, more projects, I get more commission work and uh, yeah, still, still, still keep going anyway. Okay, so there is still a lot to look forward to. So, um, and, uh, you want to say something else? This uh, something? book will be just one part. And uh, of course, uh, Sven said that this is not complete, of course, but uh, never complete. This is uh, the, my you know, philosophy. But uh, anyway, uh, this book will be until 2005. So i uh, planning already the next uh, uh, part two. It's 2006 to the 2000, I don't know, maybe 16 or 18 or 19. And then to the another one will be the, I still have a, a sketch pa uh, paperwork also. I have many uh, planning. So we're going to be publishing. And this is also the very independent publishing. I pay, <coughs> I pay for this one. And then I make it. Of course, uh, Luke uh, helped me a lot, but uh, I really like to the more independent uh, you know, publishing anyway. So this is part one. 
next one part two i don't know when but uh, part three part four i don't know until <laughs> until i'm gonna be die i'm still catalog uh, resonate to continue anyway so this is something that will stay uh yeah and uh <laughs> always market like that yeah okay thank you very much thank Mr. you so much Martin thank you i hope you enjoyed it and i wish you a very nice stay at the fair and don't forget to go to booth zero zero four i don't two 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 <laughs> okay have a nice and uh, people can can buy also right not market but uh yeah but uh but you're on the waiting list yeah Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.